Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. Uh, I thought I'd explain a little bit about why it is that we don't want the unconscious thought cloud of the world to stream through our Taurus while we're asleep. Uh, there are, this doesn't apply to everyone in the world. Uh, it really applies to a person, person that's on a spiritual path. And that person uh, is developing a refinement of astral matter, the astral matter in their energy field and in their physical body. And so they do that through their spiritual practices during the day. That might be repeating God's name, concentrating on the breath, doing good works, selfless service, service to humankind. Whatever it is, uh, it might be creating um, beautiful works of music, it might be um, contributing to the knowledge base of the world, it, it might be many different things. Whatever opens up the heart during the day, right? And by opening up the heart, we refine the astral matter in our energy field, right? Then at night, when we fall asleep, we don't want the unconscious thought cloud of the world to pull down the refined nature of our astral matter by mixing with it while we're asleep. And uh, because then we return to the common uh, denominator uh, for astral matter refinement on Earth, which is more coarse than what, what had been the case during the day. So. That's why sleeping with the head to the rising sun, head to the east, is important. Is because that way we don't align with the unconscious thought cloud energies of the world, which as I understand it, are most often mixed with the human aura when our feet are to the south and our heads are to the north. So that particular sleeping position is especially to be avoided. And for complete safely, safety, sleeping with the head to the east is best. Next, they say, sleeping with the head to the west is second best. And third best is sleeping with the head to the south. I have found that east is terrific. West is not as good, but still relatively good compared to south or, or north. Both of those, for me, uh, get very entangled with uh, psychic bonding and the unconscious thought cloud of the world the minute I lie down. So at a certain place in your uh, awakening process, you'll, you'll come to a kind of a geosensitivity that allows you to preserve the changes in your own uh, energy field even when you're unaware, even when you're sound asleep. Then there's also the practice of yoga nidra, which is waking sleeping, which is very good to know. I think Swami J has a talk about that on his swamij.com website. Uh, Advaita might have tips on that. Um, and so that's something to think about, is how we can stay awake and aware while we're sound asleep. Um, this is something I haven't made that much progress on, but I've heard, I've read, that it's really a wonderful thing to do. Well, y'all take care. Love y'all lots.